Recently, I took a cruise on Virgin Voyages, the Scarlet Lady, and well, to my pleasant surprise, I encountered the best cruise food ever. Buckle up for this culinary bonanza. Cruise food. Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with another cruise review. And this time we're reviewing the food on the Scarlet Lady. And, and I, I'm going to go ahead and say it in the front, uh, on the front end of this whole thing. This was the best food I've ever had at sea. And I think I know why. So I'm going to run through all of the food that I had on the Scarlet Lady. Somewhere along the way, I'll explain to you why I think it's the best food. And uh, at the end, I will tell you what the dish of the cruise was. Uh, so pay close attention. Maybe make a note. What do you think the best looking food was? And I'll tell you what the best tasting food was at the end. Our culinary journey begins in Virgin Voyages buffet concept called the galley. I call it a buffet concept because it's very similar to what you would find on other cruise ships from a buffet perspective. Big, wide open group seating, lots of food stations. But the thing that's different here is that the food is brought to you. And these aren't your average buffet food stations. They've got a grab and go section where you can get salads and sandwiches. They have a huge salad bar area. They've got a dessert and a fruit section. They've got a bento box section for sushi. They've got a press sandwich section. They've got a noodle section. They even have a 24 hour diner breakfast section. Uh, this is the spot. This is uh, like a buffet on steroids. But again, they don't call it a buffet. This is the galley. It is a little bit of a different concept. So let me show you a few meals that I had from the galley. Uh, first, I, I had to try the sushi, right? So I love the fact that there was grab and go sushi. So I had a meal of sushi and fresh fruit. Uh, it was fantastic. The, again, the idea that I could just get uh, sushi on demand was included, was incredible. And then uh, I also tried out their late night diner. The idea that you could get bacon all day long, all day bacon. Let's that should be a T-shirt. All day bacon. Uh, I went late night one night and just got you know some bread, bacon, some marmalade, some butter, and uh, sweet potato tots and hash brown. Uh, this was this was the perfect complement to late night gambling. And then I tried breakfast in the galley one day. They had a toasties shop, like a, a sandwich shop, and I was able to get some salmon a toast and also some avocado toast. And right next to the sandwich place was the noodle place. And so for breakfast one day, I had avocado toast, salmon toast, and uh, ramen. So that's Virgin Voyages buffet concept. And I've got to move on and tell you about their main dining room and their specialty dining concepts. But before I do that, I want to quickly thank the sponsor of today's show, Scentbird. Uh, one thing you may not have known about me is I like to smell good. Who doesn't like to smell good? And I'm a cologne guy. I was a Jacquard Noir guy back in the 80s. I never would move off of that fragrance. So that, that's my first problem. My second problem as a traveler who likes to wear cologne is I'm always carrying these big bottles of cologne with me and I'm always worried that they're going to break. Well, Scentbird's helped me with both of those problems, really. The Scentbird service is really, uh, really an interesting service, really an interesting way to try out new fragrances. You can get one new fragrance a month for about $17. They send you a month's supply uh, let, let me show you this. It's amazing. They send you a month's supply in this uh, small container. So for $17, you can try out a, a name brand fragrance uh, without spending the $150, $300 per bottle that you might be in for. And look, travel size. I got three fragrances this month. I got the Intense fragrance. I got the uh, Pegasus fragrance. And I got the fragrance Well Played this month. I'm a big fan of both lavender and cocoa bean. And Well Played mixes both of those in. It smells good. You can't smell it from here. It's the smell of vision, right? Mm, there's some tonka bean in there too. It's amazing. Yeah, like I'm just here now. The whole vibe is different because of the smell. It's amazing what fragrance can do. An easy way to explore different fragrances is through the service offered by Scentbird. They have fragrances both for men and women. They also have unisex fragrances. And again, for $17 a month, you can try something without investing a lot in your cologne or your perfume. You can try Scentbird for yourself. It's easy peasy. Use my coupon code LADLITALOCA to get 55% off your first month. 
that makes your first month about $7. Uh, it's available in the United States and in Canada. Scentbird, thank you so much for sponsoring today's food review. Now let's get on to the restaurants. So on other cruise lines, the main dining room concept's pretty straightforward. You go into a big dining area, you're presented with a menu, and then you pick what you want off that menu. But the reality about the food that you get in the main dining room is, well, that food's not necessarily prepared to order. The, much of that food is mass produced and then plated when it is ordered. And uh, that makes it almost kind of a banquet service opposed to a restaurant service. And so a lot of times on cruise lines, you'll see an elevated food offering in the form of a specialty dining restaurant where you have to pay extra money to get food that is essentially prepared to order, a higher quality food. And look, that's no indictment of the main dining room concept. However, Virgin saw it as a challenge and instead of going with a main dining room specialty dining uh, setup, well, they did away with both of them. They did away with the main dining room concept. They also did away with the specialty dining concept and they've come up with a new concept where all of the food is included in your cruise fare and it is made to order. Now there's a couple items on certain menus that there is an upcharge for, but I would say 95% of everything on the menus at all of the restaurants on Virgin Voyages uh, is included in your cruise fare. So they've done away with main dining, they've done away with specialty dining, and they're preparing your food to order, which is made for some really excellent food experiences. Let me run through the restaurants, let me show you the food, and then I will tell you what the bite of the cruise was. I'm interested to hear your opinions of at least what the food looks like. So here we go. Starting with Razzle Dazzle. Razzle Dazzle is the vegetable forward restaurant on the Scarlet Lady. And uh, just hearing that word vegetable forward gave me pause. When Before I even looked at the menu, I'm like, oh, this is the vegan restaurant. Do, I'm not vegan, do I wanna go there? And really I caught myself and because I was so resistive to it, I thought, well, maybe I should go check it out. You may remember I, I did a video when I was on the cruise ship and I showed the menu and some people, they took umbrage. They took umbrage at the fact that the meat selections on the Razzle Dazzle menu were encapsulated in the word naughty. Some meat eaters out there thought that the, the vegans were poking fun of them when in reality, they were just saying that sometimes vegetable eaters they're a little naughty and they eat meat also. So I, I look, I embraced it. I said, I'm gonna have a vegan dish, I'm gonna have a meat dish, I'm gonna have the dessert, and uh, this is what I had. I started off with a mushroom tartare, and uh, look, this thing's not as visually appealing as I would like it to be, but the taste was there, but yeah, mushroom tartare, mushrooms, beets. Let me say this, it tasted better than it looked. The, the appearance of this one did not really sell me, and then for the main course, I had the pork schnitzel. And it was, it was delicious. It was a traditional German pork schnitzel. It was served with blister beans. I'd never had that before. Those were really interesting. And then also they had some cheesy uh, potatoes, some cheesy tater tots, which I'm very familiar with. Uh, quite delicious. Now, much like the mushroom tartare, the dessert was, uh, well, it tasted better than it looked. These were rainbow churros with a Yube ice cream. It was, it was tasty. And look, I enjoyed Razzle Dazzle. It, it was interesting. I wouldn't let the thing being vegetable forward throw you off. It's, it's certainly, if you have the opportunity to try it, I would try it. As I was leaving dinner at Razzle Dazzle, the, the maitre d' there said to make sure I come back for breakfast. And so I did that and had a wonderful breakfast at Razzle Dazzle. I had this flaky croissant. I had some wonderful avocado toast. I love the avocado toast. I also had a fresh fruit plate. And then I had the, the three best strips of bacon I have ever had at sea. This bacon was peppered and glazed, and I still wake up at night sometimes thinking about this bacon. And then for the sake of thoroughness, I had to try something off the dessert selection, and I went with this marbled chocolate cake. Now before I slide over to the next restaurant, let me tell you about the food at the Bimini Beach Club. Virgin Voyages has their own beach club on the island of Bimini, and they have an included lunch over there. It, it was fantastic. For lunch, I had this Caribbean chicken and coconut curry. I had two pieces of street corn, a lotes. I also had rice and beans and a small piece of rum cake. As far as private island food goes, this was, this was top notch. Next restaurant I tried on the Scarlet Lady was Extra Virgin. This is Virgin Voyage's Italian restaurant. I started off with this incredible charcuterie board. Cheeses, meats, breads, spreads, focaccia bread there with olive oil. Followed up the charcuterie with these meatballs. 
I also tried the braised pork cheek pasta. And then my main that night was sea bass, a nice branzino. And then I had this wonderful dessert, whipped ricotta, candied pine nuts, mascarpone. Uh, it was uh, so good. The steak restaurant on Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady called The Wake. I was able to sneak in there for brunch. I started off with a wonderful spicy Bloody Mary. I had their version of the wedge salad. Now this was the only this is the only item that I really got bummed out about. It was not described on the menu as their wedge salad having eggs on it. I'm not a big egg fan and the wedge salad traditionally does not come with egg. Uh, this had egg all over it. I, I was a little bummed out about the wedge salad. I also had their shrimp appetizer, their version of a shrimp cocktail. And then I had the petite filet. It, it was cooked really well. It was super delicious. And then for dessert, uh, their version of the tres leches cakes, the, the, the milks, as it were, three milks. Virgin Voyage's take on Mexican is represented in the restaurant Pink Agave. Uh, this was another interesting dining experience. Started off with a couple of appetizers. Started off with chips and guacamole and then their version of street corn. Uh, then I moved into some uh, grilled shrimp. This was a great dish. And then my main was duck tacos, duck breast tacos. Um, yeah, I, again, it's not traditional to see duck in a Mexican restaurant, but uh, this, this, was, this was done well. And some interesting dessert selections at the Pink Agave. I went with the chocolate tacos. So these were caramel filled taco shells this dessert came highly recommended and i certainly understand why now of course like any good cruise ship there is a pizzeria on board let me give you a quick look at the pepperoni pie uh, this was available late night i know at least one night after uh, testing the fates i did do some late night pizza i skipped a, a late night bacon and uh, here's a look at the pie it was, it was good uh, very passable for a pepperoni pie but man there was so much other food on board it was the 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 pizza became a secondary thought for sure. So you've seen the food that I had on my four day cruise on Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. Do you have a dish in mind that you would pick visually for being the dish of the cruise? Well, I'm gonna tell you what my bite of the cruise is, what my dish of the cruise is, uh, but first, let me quickly invite you to subscribe. If you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. Thank you in advance. I, okay, I got to do it two ways. The bite. The bite of the cruise was the bacon. The, the bacon at the Razzle Dazzle was the best bacon I have ever had. I, no joke. I cannot wait to go back on Virgin Voyages just because I enjoyed that cruise, but also to try that bacon again. And I would have to say that my dish of the cruise, the, the dish that I'm craving the most uh, on land, was the duck breast tacos. That whole pink agave meal was probably my favorite meal of the cruise, uh, from the street corn to the guacamole to, uh, yeah, the, the, the duck tacos, the shrimp. The whole thing was good there, including the dessert. Uh, but I'm going to say duck tacos was my dish, my dish of the cruise. Look, I said it at the beginning, and I'll say it again. I think the food, the food that I had on Virgin Voyages, the Scarlet Lady, was the best cruise food I've ever had. Yeah, a big thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring today's show. Make sure you check out the links below. If you want to see my full review of Virgin Voyages, am I too fat? Am I too old to be on that cruise ship? I break it all down there. Make sure you check that out. Thank you so much for checking out the show today. My name's Tony for La Lido Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido.